Okay, let's see. I also managed to find an old box of Fangorias. Um, let me see, I was still in high school at the time, so I believe the majority of these are uh, mid to late 90s. Let me see if I can pull some of these out. <laughs> Too much crap in this box. thing was going on at the time. What issue is this one? Uh, 209. And that was from January, so I'm not really too sure what year it was. Hmm. Oh yeah, the Firestarter um, mini-series that had been going on at the time. Rose red. Mm, not too much of this is ringing a bell here. Christopher Lee. Pam Greer. Ginger Snap. I never bothered to see that movie. Let me see. I don't want to flip through every single one of these. I'm sure that'll get dull pretty quick. Um, I don't even remember this issue too well. And everything I keep flipping to doesn't really help either, huh? Not really. I remember that. 1999. Okay. So late 90s. That was an awesome episode with the whole evil Willow, less of a wuss, the Psycho remake, which was basically the exact same film, just in color. Of course, Bride of Chucky. And let me see. Ooh, these things are slippery. I don't want to ruin them. Phantasm Oblivion. I haven't really seen anything I want to stop and open up yet. Let me see. Vampires. That really sucked. This one wasn't much better. We remember Jamie Lee Curtis's pathetic attempt to return as a Scream Queen after, of course, Scream was released since... She suddenly became the Scream Queen of the 80s. The Beyond. That one was actually a pretty good one. Oh, I was trying to remember this movie the other day. Um, doesn't really help me. Some made-for-TV movie about a human shark or humanoid creature. Small soldiers. Fangorias just aren't as great as they used to be. I mean, you had this, this great hard spine binding on them and now you just have like this crappy fold over garbage. I'm like, I'm not gonna pay, you know, I have no idea how much they are now, but of course, then at the time, I believe it was $6. I mean, I had a subscription. Um, the whole Godzilla madness when the remake was being released, the Matthew Broderick version, which not too many people like. I honestly don't give a shit. I still thought it was a cool movie. 
species. I hate that franchise. Oh, somebody destroyed my book. Great. Let's see, issue seven. Well, this is pretty much trashed now, huh? Maniac. Curse of Frankenstein. Yeah, I think this is when Vangoria was still pretty much still trying to get its footing, so they still had a lot of Starlog type stuff, which is very sci-fi stuff meshed in. Definitely would have loved to have been able to have gotten some of the classic stuff. Watcher in the Woods. Eh, haven't seen that in years. Don't really remember if I like it or not. Tom Savaney. Alfred Hitchcock. Random comic. Somebody destroyed that. Ah, uh, yes. More of the Godzilla Madness, the official poster magazine, which I never... Actually, I don't know if I have the... Ah, uh, yes, this is the one. Okay. So I never bothered to actually take these out and um, get the full-size view of these. So I'm sure a lot of people are expecting the movie to be a lot bigger than it really was. So, yeah, I do have the poster book, and I think I also have the official movie compilation magazine. Yeah, that one right there. So everything from the ins and outs of the film. Actually, I own two copies. <laughs> Let me see. George Romero. I think that was from that one commercial he did, and that was the first hint uh, in the interview done, which was discussing Land of the Dead, which didn't come out until a bit later. Yeah, this was 98. I forget which year Land of the Dead released. But, um, same exact basic premise. I mean, everything basically in here is discussed um, as far as the hierarchy of how he does see the society of then at the time. I haven't read most of these books in years. It's always fun to just pull them out, though. It's I love the condition that the majority of these are still in, though. <laughs> Some of them have held up fairly well. Alien Resurrection. I think this was also the same year that, um, I think, um, what was it called? Starship Troopers was released, if I remember correctly. I thought Alien Resurrection was a great one. There we go, Starship Troopers. I remember reading that and somebody actually thinking it was real. That was hilarious. More of the Buffy stuff. And this is when it had gone to those floppy, no longer hard spine stuff, but... Uh, let me see, issue 238. Apparently... I don't know why I bought this, but I did. But shortly after, pretty much did stop reading Fangoria. They just, quality just seems to have gone to crap. Blade. More species. Definitely lots of fun stuff.